back to another episode of Dance in Motion. Today, we are going to learn turns. A lot of times, a turn really makes the dance more exciting. It really adds that special pizzazz to a dance. So today we're going to talk about turning because it's important when you turn in a dance that you're able to keep your balance. The first type of turn we're going to talk about is a really simple turn. This type of turn is known as a pivot turn. So what you're going to do for a pivot turn is you're going to step forward and pivot. Step forward and pivot. Notice when you're stepping that one leg is planted in the same spot. That leg does not move and the other leg actually takes you around. So let's do that again. You're going to step forward with your left leg and pivot towards your right. You're going to step forward again with your left leg and pivot towards your right and finish. Now, if you are actually doing a dance, you can add your shoulders, you can add your hands and make it more exciting so it can look like step and turn and together, okay? So that's one type of turn that you can do called a pivot turn. Let's go through that one more time and step forward and pivot, step forward and pivot. What's going to make that turn really easy for you is to really turn on the ball of your feet. So you're going to have to shift that weight. So right now, when you're stepping forward on that right, I'm sorry, when you're stepping forward on that left foot, all of your weight is on your right. And when you come forward, now your weight is centered. Then you're going to lift up on the balls of your feet. You're going to shift your weight again and pivot. Now you're going to bring your left leg back through. And now that weight again is on your right leg. And you're going to step down. That weight is center. And then you are going to pivot back to the front and close. Now you try. Turn number two. Here's a different type of turn that you can do, let's say when you're doing a dance and you really want to jazz up that dance, you're going to actually cross your foot in front and then you're going to turn and step. Let's do it fast. When you're doing it fast, it's going to look like this. Awesome. Now, in order for you to do that turn, you are going to have to cross and your heel on your left foot is going to come up as your toe on your right foot comes down. And then you want to switch again where your toe on your right is coming down and your heel on your toe, I'm sorry, on your left is coming down and your heel on your right is coming up. Let's do that again. And let's do it fast, and then we're going to slow it down. Let's do that again. Now, let's do it one more time. Let's do that again. So one of the things you're going to need to do as you are doing this turn is something called spotting. And you want to do that with every turn. So with spotting, what you're going to do is, although you're in preparation to turn, you're going to look at the direction you're going in first, and then your head is always going to lead, lead, lead as your body follows. Let's try that again. Head, lead, 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 body follow. It is so important. Your head is the heaviest part of your body. And if you don't balance and hold your head straight or move your head in the direction you want to go, you'll end up getting off balance. So that's going to be really important. So let's do it again. And we're going to spot. We're going to look 
to our right, that that's where we're going, but then we're going in a circle. So we're going to keep moving our head all the way around. I'm going to find a spot. How about I look at you because I want to end up if I'm somewhere and I'm dancing, I have an audience, I want to end up back perhaps facing my audience, okay? So let's try that again. And this time we're going to spot. That means my eyes and my head is going to lead the turn. Amazing. Now let's take a look at what our feet are doing up close. So now, let's try one more turn. This turn, you're actually going to jump and spin around. Same concept, but this time you're going to cross first, and then you're going to shift. It's going to be heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, toe, heel, and turn. Let's try another turn. Let's do a four-point pivot turn. That means you're going to step to the front and pivot, step to the side and pivot, step to the back and pivot, step out and pivot and close. Now, again, you can do that in a dance move. You can do step and step and step and step and back. Good. Let's try that again. Step and pivot, slow step and pivot, step and pivot, and step and pivot, and back together. Very, very good. Now, let's try it going in the other direction. You're going to step forward, keep your left foot planted, and pivot. Step out, pivot, step out. Pivot, step up, pivot, and back. So that is a four-point turn. You're turning to the north, east, south, and west in each direction. Okay? And again, we can speed that up if you're doing a dance. And back. So now we've done our pivot turn. We did the first turn. The first turn is a half pivot turn where you step forward and pivot, you step through and pivot to the back. Let's do that on the other side. Step forward, pivot, step forward, pivot, and to the back. Good. Now let's do our four point pivot turn. And pivot. And pivot, and pivot, and pivot, and pivot, and back. Again, and pivot, one, and pivot, two, and pivot, three, and pivot, four, and back. Let's do our pivot turn in the other direction. And pivot one, and pivot two, and pivot three, and pivot four. Very, very good. You can absolutely, I'll be teaching you in some of the upcoming dance in motion, how to actually take that pivot turn and put it into a dance, how to actually um, take the other turn that I showed you and how to put that into dance moves. So meet me back here on our next session and we're going to go over actually adding those turns with other moves and making it even more exciting. See you next week. Dance in motion, dance in motion, dance in motion.